Yo, what's up guys? Coach Joe from Zat Strength. Just doing some cooking in the kitchen, doing some meal prep. It is Saturday morning. I'm going to train probably around 12 today. Uh, I'm going to be hitting you know, a good intense uh, deadlifting workout probably. That's what I was actually scheduled to do with a partner of mine. Uh, but due to some unfortunate circumstances, uh, I had to uh, change it so that I'm working out on my own. But that's what I'm going to be doing. Probably some deadlifts, hit the central nervous system. Uh, but this is you know, a little bit of uh, some cooking prep tips. I've made videos on this before, but I'll make them again. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm making a fake cheat meal. All right, so a lot of people know that cheat meals would be the sweets or whatever that you normally would want to hit. Um, you know, like the normal food, you know, like the pizzas, the ice cream, the chocolates, the sugars. Uh, just bad food in general would be considered your cheat meal. Uh, but what I like to do is I kind of created this uh, little game in my head of the fake cheat meal. So the fake cheat meal is when, you know, I go online and look at recipes kind of, um, you know, to fake my brain out in thinking that I am getting, you know, this cheat meal, which I sort of am, but I'm really not. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of give my mind a little bit of a break from being so strict on what I eat. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I made chicken sausages and I'm doing paleo pancakes. So for the paleo pancakes, I have all the stuff right over here. I do... Uh, Three scoops, synthesis protein, good stuff, low in carbs. I think it's about 15 grams of carbs per scoop, so that's how I get my carbs in. I do um, maybe a half a cup of milk. Not that much milk, just enough to get it kind of like that nice stirring consistency with uh, the pancake batter. Then I'll do two eggs, and uh, that's about it. So I'll make a good uh, you know, couple meals out of that, and then I'll eat it. You know, Right now, I'll eat it after I train. I'll eat it later. So um, I'm okay with really not mixing up the meals too much. I can eat the same thing throughout the day and then change it up the next day. So it's kind of the way I like to make the meals. It saves me some time and hassle rather than trying to make, you know, chicken, tilapia, and steak all in one day. I just would stick with chicken for one day, right? And then tilapia the next day, yada, 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 etc. So that's what I'm doing right now. Little tip just, uh, you know, on the eating, try to maybe play games with yourself or make a fake cheat meal. So go online, say you really like pizza. Google, you know, how to make the healthiest pizza in the world, blah, blah, blah. Figure it out. Make it. If it's good and you like it, you just keep making it. So then when you want a cheat meal, you can make that fake pizza and your mind thinks that you're getting the pizza, but in reality, you know that it's a, a healthy alternative to what you want to do. And you can do that with anything. So that's just a video I'm making today, guys. Um, you know, figure out your fake cheat meal. A little thing I made up and I like that. So fake cheat meal. Stay with it. And if you like the videos, make sure to subscribe. Got tons of good information that's coming out. You know, all the time during the week, good uh, blog posts on the daily grind, and I'm um, just making moves. So, support it, check it out. Hope you guys have a great day and keep training hard. Later.